Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to talk to you about inspiration. Usually when I tell people that I journal, they ask me how and where I get my inspiration. I'm going to go into detail about that later. I'm also going to make an art journal page with you at the same time. These are the essentials that I will be using. I'm going to use my yellow journal from the Italian brand Sayak, acrylics and gouache paint, glitter, washi tape and an ink pad, a pair of scissors, a couple of fine liners, paint brushes and water, and last but not least, rubber stamps. The main question of this video is, how do you get inspiration for journaling? I must admit that it can be hard sometimes. Personally, I think it has a lot to do with motivation as well. If you want to journal more often or become good at it, the trick is to simply do it regularly. If you have a moment or a study break, grab your journal and make it work. 15 minutes of your time could easily do the job. Although you could create a journal entry with just a book and a pen, you could also look around your room and find three objects that you want to use in your book. For example, I use a dry flower here. Make it as personal as you want to and recycle your materials. If you have some white space left in your journal that you want to fill up, you could use that to either add some doodles or write down quotes. If you are a writer yourself, you could use your own work. When I don't have the inspiration to write something myself, I usually go to Tumblr or I grab my favorite books to select the best quotes that fit my mood. You could also use some song lyrics. If you want to give the paper some more texture, you could wrinkle the paper or you could tear it. Try to experiment with your handwriting. If you're interested in calligraphy, your journal is the best place to give it a go. Don't be too afraid of making mistakes. After all, the idea of immediately mastering the talent to write beautifully is foolish. I'm adding the name of the writer and then it's time to clue it in my journal. This is the result of the first journal page. The brown paper that you see here is from a bag that I got from a store. This is an example of recycling your paper. I'm heading to the second page now. This is probably not new to you, but the internet can provide you a lot of inspiring pictures and videos. If you use Pinterest, I recommend to make a couple of collections and add anything that inspires you. To give you a specific example, if you would like to add more collages in your diary, you could look at work from others and find out what you like best. Be careful to not copy someone's work, but take from it what you like and give it your own look and feel. There are a lot of great tutorials on YouTube about using paint. My journal has 100 grams of acid-free paper. This is perfect for using acrylics and gouache paint. Watercolor works as well, but if you want the best effect, I would pick special watercolor paper instead. Usually when I add small paintings in my book, I just go with the flow and see what comes up in my head. I try to paint a moon here, but I'm not sure if it looks like that. Since it's the month of May right now, I'm using my rubber stems to mark down that word. This is also an idea when you want to fill up space in your journal. I bought mine in a cheap store in the Netherlands called Action, but I think you can also buy them in a craft store. Since I was in the mood for glitter, I decided to add that as well. Glitter always sounds like a good idea, right? To finish the page, I'm adding a couple of doodles of flowers. I'm using my fine liner to give the flowers a little shadow in the middle, so they look a bit more realistic. If you cannot find inspiration at all, sometimes it can be necessary to do something entirely different. Instead of journaling, you could go for a walk, read a book, drink coffee, call a friend, or sit in a bar to observe other people. You can get inspiration from the smallest things. And also, remember to always write down ideas when you get them. Take notes on your phone or in a book that you always carry around with you. If you're lost for inspiration or motivation, you could simply look at your list of ideas. I'm showing you a couple of close-ups of my journal entry. 
I hope you like watching this video and that my tips might help you. If you have any other ways of getting that creative spirit, even though you're uninspired or unmotivated, please let me know in the comments below. I think it's nice that we can share each other's ideas and inspire each other to create the best art journal entries. I hope to see you soon in my next video. Have a nice day.